you asked for it, so here it is. This is how I apply my makeup. I'm not here to sell you products, I'm not here to sell you skincare, I'm just here to show you how I take my face from this to this. I don't wear makeup for anyone else, I'm wearing it for me. I have heavily scarred skin, as you can see. My face was burned in a fire, it's really severely damaged. I've had an operation, two operations on my nose to remove basal cell carcinoma, so it's pretty scarred. I only have to scratch my skin and I'm left with broken veins, so I have to treat it really, really carefully. And I'm sure lots of us at our age have got sun damage, it's wear and tear, accidents, incidents, the lot. So I'm gonna show you how I make the most of what I've got at my age. I'm not trying to hide wrinkles or lines. I would like to hide some of the broken veins, but really it's just to make me feel the best that I can feel to be confident for the whole day. Now, I'm really, really lucky that I've got an amazing friend who is really into his skincare. And so he sent me a parcel because he knows that I don't look after my skin particularly well. This is Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum from Ole, Ole Henriksen. Not, I, I'm not familiar with this brand particularly, but I have been using this for over a week. This is the skincare that was gifted from my amazing friend, Jean-Luc, so thank you to him. He, we've been friends a really, really long time, and he looks after his skin, and his skin is gorgeous. Now, he's under 25, so of course, he's under 25, so of course it's amazing, but he really, he really opened my eyes to skincare. I'm, I don't spend a fortune on it, but this one is really, really nice. I'm not here to sell it, but it smells divine. Now we're going to use Blurring Skin Tint from Rihanna's brand Fenty. And you want to use this quite sparingly because obviously as we get older, we get fine lines and wrinkles and it will sit in those fine lines and wrinkles. I'm just going to put it where I need it most. I need most coverage up here from my scarring on my nose. And I like to apply it with my fingers and then just gently rub it in. Gently, gently. Full coverage concealer by Kat Von D. Now, again, you want to use this really, really sparingly. So I'm going to use it where I've got scarring. I've got scarring on the top of my cheeks. Here, I've got, I've got a lot of scarring here. <laughs> Broken veins around my nose. A little bit there, a little bit there. And then my scar on my nose, so I'll do that as well. I'll just colour that in a little bit. You can use a brush, but I'm going to use my fingers again. And just gently pat it in to the worst areas until it's completely blended into my foundation. Now don't put yours here, put your concealer where you have blemishes. And you can also put a little bit under your eyes here just to brighten up a little bit. But I'm going to just blend this in to my forehead. So as you can see now, I've got a nice plain base. Now, this is probably a little bit too light for me, but that's fine because we're going to add a little bit of bronzer now. This is Tantor by Huda Beauty. And I like to just put a little bit underneath my cheekbones here and here. I don't have the smallest nose, so I like to put a little bit on here just to cover up my scarring on my nose. A little bit here, a little bit on my temples and a little bit on my hairline and then i'm just going to buff that in and it just makes the cheekbones well my cheekbones pop i'm not telling you how to put your makeup on you must put it on how you like it i get lots of criticism telling me i'm doing things wrong but i'm not doing things wrong because i'm doing things right for me the way i put my makeup on it makes me happy and i'm going to continue doing it this way so just keep gently applying it until you get the effect, the colour that you want, that you're happy with. I think I look less pale now. I think that's a nice natural look that I've got going on. If I say it myself. <laughs> the best thing to do is just have fun with your makeup. I mean, the whole thing about makeup for me is the theatre of it. It's the creativity of it. It's getting all these products out every morning and thinking, oh, what can I do with my face today? And lipsticks. Oh my God, I'm absolutely in love with lipsticks. But as you can see, now my face looks a nice natural base and we're ready for some blusher. I'm using Glass Apple by Kat Von D Beauty. That's KVD Beauty. It's a cream blush. And I'm just gonna put it on my cheekbone. Just a little bit, not too much. I've got red cheeks anyway. And then I'm gonna, I'll blend that in in a minute. Don't be scared. A little bit on the cheekbone there. And then I like to put a little bit just on the outer corner 
of my eyebrow. Right, I'm gonna blend that in. Well, I'll blend it in now. <laughs> hmm. So as you can see, now this is an amazing base. I've got a little bit of bronzer, I've got a little bit of blush, and I've just put it on the outer corner of my eyebrow. Now, this is an eye pencil from Kat Von D, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a line from the corner of my eye to the middle, but it'll be thicker this end than that end. I'm going to do it off camera and then I'll come back. So that's using the Tattoo Pencil Liner from Kat Von D Beauty, KVD Beauty. And I've started off on the outer edge of the eyelid and then I've come in so it's thicker on the outside and then it gets thinner as it gets to the middle. And so it's almost like a cat eye. I do sometimes use liquid eyeliner, but you know what? It's much easier with this tattoo pencil. And I want a more subtle look. And actually what I quite like about the pencil is that it just basically smudges and disappears throughout the day. So you haven't got a kind of cracked line from the liquid eyeliner. It's really funny that I get lots of comments saying I'm not a real person, I'm using filters. And another one was that I'm using some kind of magical potion that actually blurs my wrinkles in my makeup videos, but I'm not sharing it with you. But I can assure you that everything that I am putting on today, I'm sharing with you. So the next thing I'm gonna put on is some Fenty Beauty Mascara. Now I have got a new mascara, but I'm not gonna use it because I really like older mascaras. I find new mascaras too wet. So I mean, this one's a few, a couple of months old, but my brand new one, I find they take a little while to either for me to get to like them or to get to the right consistency because I find them too wet. So with the mascara, we're just, we're not going to dab it on ourselves. <laughs> we're just going to do it really gently. I don't like clumping. I don't like lots of layers. So I'm just going to do it really carefully without touching my skin. And then I want to do it off camera. I'm really sorry. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. And then when you do the lower lashes, you're just kind of tickling them <laughs> to get a little bit of product on them. Not too much. I hate clumpy eyelashes so let me go do those and then I'll come back the mascara I'm using today is called hella thick and it's from Fenty Beauty and I'm using it in black I have applied two very very thin coats some people said oh you're putting on fake lashes and you're not showing us these are not fake lashes these are my lashes I don't use serums because I don't know whether you know but a lot of the serums one of the side effects of the serums is that you do get thick eyelashes but it can actually deplete the fat cells underneath your eye and give you very sunken eyes so I'm staying away from those. Some people like the way that I do my brows and some people don't. Now you can see that I have got very silver hair so what I like to do because I don't want to dye my eyebrows and I don't want to get microblading I did think about it for a very long time however I've heard that lots of people get quite bad scarring in their brows and my skin is so delicate it just wouldn't tolerate microblading so I'm using a really old mascara like really old like I probably should have thrown it away and then it's a black mascara and I'm just going to gently it's gently with everything just paint those little white hairs black and this is my favorite way to do brows just easily you know they're not highly manicured it's just making them less transparent and white so I've done my eyebrows with the mascara now I could shape them a little bit more with my gray brow pencil and this is where people say oh you're going too far but you know what I like to have a little play and I'm using MUA gray brow pencil and what I'm going to do off camera because I can't see <laughs> what I'm going to do is just fill in where I've got little bulb patches in my eyebrows but I'm going to do it really really gently because I'm not really looking for a dramatic eye I'm literally looking for no bulb patches in my eyebrows I'm using a ring light behind my phone to just try and bounce more light off my face so I can get a better picture but I do like to film in natural light normally but we've got lots of clouds here today so what you can do is you can get yourself a little brush and then if you think that this is too dramatic for you, uh, coloring in your eyebrows too much, you can just gently do them with, got planes going over all sorts today. You can just gently do them with a little eyeshadow brush. You'll see that I'm not wearing eyeshadow and the reason for that is that it gets in my eyes during the day. I'm not going anywhere special today. So just that little bit of pink from the blush, it, it's enough for me. I'm not going anywhere special. 
and then that's it maybe that's softened it enough for you if you don't like your eyebrows too dramatic just use the mascara um, I've tried lots of different eyebrow products and I really love old mascara the best and just cutting them in it just gives them a little bit of definition and it frames your face there is no wrong way to do your makeup do your makeup how you like it and don't worry about fads and fashions because the latest fashion will be out of fashion in a few months time so just do what makes you feel confident and you feel happy this highlighter is from Huda Beauty. Unfortunately, I've dropped it, so I have to be really, really careful with it. But I like to use just a fluffy eyeshadow brush and then just put a tiny bit on the top of my cheekbone here. A tiny bit under there, just to open my eye up a little bit more. And then a tiny bit on my nose and a tiny bit on the top of my lips. Because honestly, it makes such a difference. So I'm using the pink one in this Huda Beauty set. And it just, oh, I just, I love it. Just a little tiny bit. What do we think so far? Rubbish! <laughs> I am not a professional makeup artist. I am just someone who has been in love with makeup from the age of 40 when I bought my first raspberry shade of lipstick. Now let's get on to lipstick because I've got two exciting colors to show you. These are both from Kat Von D and they're pretty expensive but they do stay on all day. So this one is called Moth Orchid and this is called Queen of Passions 10. Now I'm going to put Queen of Passions on first and you can see whether you like it. Then I'll show you what I did, which actually made me love it. First of all, I'm going to apply Queen of Passions. Mm, look at that. Lots of you ask how my lip stain or my lipstick or my lip gloss doesn't bleed. These are quick drying matte lipsticks. So once you apply them, give them a couple of minutes and they will last all day. Now I feel like this color is a little bit dark for me, especially as I'm wearing blue and white today. So I'm going to get my other lipstick, Moth Orchid. And what happens is that this one stays on the outside of my lips, making it look like I have used lip liner and this one goes in the middle of my lip now i've been mixing lipsticks forever many years ago there wasn't the choice of lipsticks that there is today and i used to buy a base lipstick and then i would use eyeshadow to actually mix my own lipstick it's probably a terrible idea it's probably highly toxic and i don't do it anymore because there's so many shades of lipstick so if you have a lipstick that you bought and you think oh I don't like it it's a bit too dark like I think this one's a little bit too dark for my look for today then take a lighter lipstick such as this one and then just paint it in the middle here and then we're gonna do the same on the top don't go too close to the edge mm. That, to me that looks so much better that's like the perfect shade of lipstick and it looks like i'm wearing lip liner so i'm really really happy with that color now this one on its own is absolutely lovely this moth orchid but i like the combination of the two but they are quite expensive so you know if you want this exact look you're going to have to buy two lipsticks again all of this was sent to me by my friend i have got the best friends in the world a lot of these large companies they won't sponsor older ladies like myself and you know for good reason these companies are owned by sexy young women and i don't want someone like me advertising their products however i do love their products and all of Kat Von D is vegan and cruelty free. You do have to be careful on Fenty Beauty because most of it is vegan. All of it is cruelty free. They do use lanolin in a few of their products. So you do have to be careful if you are vegan. This is absolutely my favorite shade of lipstick, this combination at the moment. So let's go find some earrings and give my hair a bit of a floof. I've got a beautiful fabric necklace. This is from Creative Designs, perfect color combo. And then I've got to put some earrings on, got these beautiful white earrings here from Creative Designs also. So there we are, that is my makeup for today. I put on some little white earrings. I love those little white earrings to go with my white bra, sports bra, of course. Thank you so much for following along. I used to do these a lot, then I stopped doing them for a long time. And the reason being that I don't buy lots of products and companies aren't willing to give them to me because I'm an old lady, according to them, and I'm not in their demographic. However, I know lots of you reached out to me and said 
please, 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 can you show me how to apply my makeup? Now, my makeup's gonna be different to your makeup, your skin's gonna be different to my skin. I have to cover up a lot of scarring, you maybe don't need to do that. So, my advice with the foundation is to find your favorite foundation, mix it with your favorite moisturizer, and then apply that instead of a thick foundation. But I'm covering up scarring, so that's why I use foundation straight out of the bottle. Have fun with your makeup, do it for you. Honestly, it makes me feel so much better. I feel like a different person once I've put my makeup on. I know to begin with, I hated showing my face without makeup on. In fact, I've got a funny story about that. When I first met my husband, I went and stayed at his house, his parents' house. Uh, it was in the summer and I didn't want him to see me without makeup on. So I woke up and I didn't have a watch on. I thought I need to put my makeup on before anyone in the house sees me without my makeup on. So I, I put my makeup on and I, I was thinking it was kind of eight o'clock in the morning. It turns out it was literally like four o'clock in the morning and it was sunny and bright. And so I had to wait sort of four or five hours for everyone to wake up. But since then I've realized that, you know, not everybody looks great without their makeup on and that's okay because the magic of makeup can fix almost anything. If you enjoyed my video today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And maybe I'll do some more of these if you really, really like them. Thanks for stopping by and you have the most beautiful day.